What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Charizard coming at you from the top right corner. And I am very excited because today we are going to be playing a Pokemon themed Fire Emblem hack. Pokey Emblem, I hope I said that right. I can only see the text, I don't know how you actually say it. Uh, if you're not familiar with Fire Emblem, I'll give you a little bit of primer. You've probably heard of Fire Emblem, most likely through this very popular Fire Emblem themed fighting game. I think there's some characters from other franchises in it, but it's like 90% Fire Emblem. <laughs> I think Fire Emblem is, I think, what you'd call a an SRPG. I think that stands for strategy role-playing game, where you control uh, several units on sort of a grid map, and you beat up bad guys. Uh, it tends to be kind of story-focused, and the stories range from you know mediocre to good, to really good, to, I would say, the single worst piece of fiction I've ever experienced in my life. So maybe don't play that one. <laughs> All you really need to know is that your characters tend to be quite attractive, and the enemy characters tend to be quite ugly. So it's probably fine if you bury an axe in their skull. There's a lot to explain about Fire Emblem, but I think that it makes more sense to sort of explain as we go and like compare it to Pokemon. So just a heads up, I'm going in 100% blind. I have no idea what this hack is going to be about, which is also why this uh, um, overlay really sucks. I, I have no idea what to put in it, so I, I promise to you guys, in part two, I will make an actual um, overlay that shows what it's supposed to, and I probably won't be so tiny. Uh, <laughs> let's get started. Uh, I also don't even know the controls, so there might be a bit of a learning curve. Okay, so this is a... Uh, uh, typical Fire Emblem starting screen. Let's go with new game. Real cool. It looks like this is a hack of Sacred Stones, which is, I believe, the eighth entry uh, in the Fire Emblem series. Ooh, look at this. Pallet Town. Uh, ooh. Um, on Nuzlocke mode, fainted Pokemon are gone for good. Oh, okay. In it, you may only capture 34 Pokemon throughout the game. So this isn't the game yet. This is uh, him explaining the rules. Okay. It is not the recommended game mode. Wow, okay. Will you try Nuzlocke mode? Well, it says it's not recommended, so I'm gonna say no. Please don't make fun of me. Name entry! Uh, okay, well, um, I guess, what should we do? I'll just go with my real name. Uh, no fun. I guess my real name is Charizard, uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and base my name on, um, uh, my trainer. Uh, this dude named Omar, you might have heard of him. Oh, very cool, okay. So in Fire Emblem, most cutscenes are presented in these sort of vignettes where um, the characters' portraits talk to each other. So it looks like that's what they're going for here. So who's the kid? This is Omar, your new na- I'm, I'm not gonna do that. This is Omar, your new neighbor. I mentioned they were coming, remember? <laughs> Welcome to the world of Pokey Emblem. My name is Oak! Gotta shout that, I guess. People call me the Pokemon Prof! The hell are you saying? Did you forget your pills, old man? <laughs> Hush now, Gary. Okay, so his name is Gary in this. Your very own Pokey Emblem legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures. What is he holding? Get on with it already. <laughs> Fine. Omar, you've been patient. Go ahead and pick your starter. Hey, Gramps, what about me? Just hold on, Gary. You can have one, too. Alright, well, we know what I have to choose. But, I'm not just choosing this you know, for the memes and because I like Charizard, it's because if stats from Fire Emblem, uh, like, translate to Pokemon the way I think they do, I think Char Charmander and Charizard line is gonna be the best choice. And I'll explain, uh, as we get into the stats. Ha! I'll take these- wait, these ones? He gets two? What? Hello? Yeah, uh-oh, is right. what? You select on a unit to toggle Danger Radius. So Danger Radius shows the enemy attack range. At times, Danger Radius will pop up automatically. Oh, okay. So, let's see. Select, I believe, is this on the... Okay, yeah. Wow, okay. So, we've got Gen 3, uh, Hoenn... This is Hoenn Gym Leader music, right? Okay, wow. So, this is... Oh, man. This looks really cool. How do I check my stats? I guess it shows me. So, I have 23 HP, 14 attack, 109 hit. AS is um, attack speed. Um, and then I have 5 defense, 3 res. Okay, so let's check the enemies. Wow. Okay. Bubbles are only has 3 AS. And Squirtle only has 4 AS. So, um, how Fire Emblem works is, uh, if your attack speed is 4 higher than your opponent's, you get to attack them twice. Uh, so let's see if that's what happens here. I can use Scratch or I can use Guard. Okay. I 
think I want to use Scratch, and it should show me a preview of the battle. It should say that I hit twice. It doesn't. <laughs> so the rules are a bit different. Uh, I'll just quickly explain what all these things are as I understand them. So HP is obviously your HP, it's how much health you have. MT stands for Might, uh, and it's sort of your attack and your, like, weapon combined. Uh, so it shows we're just going to do 10 damage. We have a 100% chance to hit, and we have a 0% chance to crit. I assume this is what we're supposed to do. Um, okay, it's looking good. We get the XP. Oh, man. Bubbles or attacks us. I think we counterattack and kill them, right? And Squirtle should attack us. And we should kill it on our turn, is my assumption. Okay, very nice. Look at this. Tactical genius. Hey, I said just one. That's definitely not how Oak talks. Is that mine now? Oh, that's going to be Oak, so he's going to help us out. Oh, but he's, he steals our XP. Oak! <laughs> Oak, please. I could have done it. All right. That wasn't fair. You two teamed up on me. <laughs> Losers. Nothing personnel. Sorry about him. He's a real brat. <laughs> Ah, parent, I, I guess. Oh, did they de-age, Oak? Yeah, he's looking a little younger, a little spry. Oh, speaking of, your mother left this for you. Okay, we have credits in this game, I guess. Credits is not the money in uh, Fire Emblem, so I, they, I guess, made it specifically for this hack. Oh, can we move around? Oh, cool! Can we talk to this guy? Nice! So, the Fire Emblem game this is based on doesn't have an overworld. So they had to make this specifically for this hack. Uh, let's talk. Technology? It's not him, but... Hello? Okay, talk doesn't really work, I guess. Uh, let's see. I don't want to bore you guys too much. Uh, but, oh man, this is really cool to explore. Can I go to my house? Item. What items do I have? Scratch. Guard. And then super potion. <laughs> they replace vulnerary with super potion. Okay. Can I, can I go in my house? I can. And I probably get a cuts. Oh, this just lets me save. All right. Mm. Ooh, this is kind of neat. Oh, the battle prep is now the Pokemon. Oh man, this is so cool. Uh, okay, pick units. I only have Charmander, right? Okay. Okay, okay. So if you go to the Pokemon Center, you go to the battle prep menu. Very cool. It says supports. No supports. Check map. Uh, hi, <laughs> hi. Can I view the map? Okay, this might not be ready yet. Okay. This is looking really ambitious so far. Wait, how do I get out of here? I have to, I have to hit start, okay. Back to Pallet Town. Very cool. I'm wondering how you, like, catch Pokemon and level up in this. I'm very interested. Um, and they said at the beginning... This is my rival's ha <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I guess we don't get a town map. I guess we just go up? Uh, so one of the defining things of Fire Emblem is a mechanic called permadeath. So because all of your units are, like, individual, like, named characters, when they, like, faint or fall in battle, they permanently die. And I think the Nuzlocke option of this game, as they explained in the beginning, does that, and I did not choose that because I expect I'm going to be dying a fair bit. Uh, I don't know what Call does here. Whoa! Hello? Okay, all right. Uh, end, I think, just ends my turn. Okay, I might have messed up here. I think it's just a limitation of um, the hack. I want to... Okay, if I wait here, I should advance to the next area. Yes, I want to continue north. Route 1. All right, we're, we're going. Loading units. Ah, okay. So I'm assuming I no longer have a really good move range. It's probably been reduced. Okay, yeah. Does this flower have a terrain bonus? I want to check. Uh, no, it doesn't. But the grass does, okay. Uh, so I assume that this Pidgey is going to attack me. Yes. Uh, so I don't want it to be able to be in the grass when it attacks me. So that's why I'm going to move over here. And I'll wait. Oh, it has two range! No! Uh, so some units in Fire Emblem can attack from, uh, you know, one space away. I'm assuming that's what he does with Gust. Uh, and I currently cannot do that. I only have melee attacks. Oh, I can just capture. Um, sure. So let's see. Okay, so using this guard item, I do less damage. But I have increased hit. Uh, and that's it. So that seems kind of bad. Uh, so... 
It, it uses sand attack? Okay. So I did not capture it. I guess I have to feint it with my attack to capture it. Oh, we dodged. That's why we're in the grass. We got five avoid from the grass. This danger radius is kind of... It kind of hurts my eyes, but uh, I, let's capture this... Uh, capture this Pidgey. All right. You're mine. Uh, okay, I was hoping they'd have uh, custom like level up screens, but that's a bit much to ask. Oh wait, I lose credits for ca capturing something? I didn't know that. Okay, so now Pidgey's on my team. Let's see, so can I look at this Pidgey stats? Okay, I have Sand Attack and I have Tackle. What's in this grass? I can just attack the grass. Uh, tackle kills it? So I destroyed the grass. What did that do? Why did I destroy the grass? Okay, I'm a little confused about that. Alright, come on, get the... get the grass. Huh. I'm taking on... I'm super effective against grass. Let's go! Okay, I'm not really sure... what I'm supposed to do here. I guess I'll just advance north. Here we go. We're marching. We're gonna wait. I don't know if IVs or anything are in this game. Uh, I, I really don't know much at all. So I, I don't want this Pidgey to faint because its health is quite low. So I think we are going to uh, draw fire with jump down. No, I don't. Uh, don't want to jump down yet. We're gonna draw fire with Charmander, and we're probably gonna hit them with Pidgey and finish them off with. Uh, Charmander, because you definitely want experience on Charmander. And finally, you get extra experience if you defeat the enemy. Okay. What, what is happening with the grass? Okay, this is a little a little dangerous here, because our Pidgey, if it gets attacked by both of these guys, it's it's probably going to faint. So I think, I think Pidgey has a range attack. Okay, sand attack is two range. But it doesn't seem to have an effect, like lowering accuracy or something. So how much damage does Charmander do? Charmander does 13. So I think if we do a sand attack and then scratch him, he will faint. Yes. Assuming we don't miss. And we didn't. Very nice. Alright. Get him, Charmander. Yes. We're just going to faint him because I don't think we need a second Pidgey. Look at that beautiful XP. Jump down. No. Alright. I think I want a Rattata as well. So let's see. Okay. I think we want to capture this Rattata. Oh, okay. So eventually the grass, the wild grass, if you don't destroy it, spawns a uh, Pokemon. So this sand attack will do four. How much does my scratch do? My scratch does 13. But I assume if I try to capture it, I'll do less damage. Yes. Okay, and I do want to capture it. So, let's see. If I tackle this, it does nine. So if I tackle and then capture, that'll work. Okay. Oh, and it had Tail Whip equipped, so it didn't even do any damage in return. Nice, nice. Alright, give me the Rattata. You're mine. Hey! So your, RN your level ups are based on RNG? These are some bad level ups, by the way. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay, okay. So I'm assuming I'm losing, like, credits or whatever, because that's supposed to be, like, the currency. Uh, it's like taking uh, the place of spending money on a Pokeball, is what I'm saying. Alright, so give me this item. What is it? It's probably potion, right? Super potion, okay. Enemy phase. So our, our health is looking pretty low on all of our Pokemon. I just think what I'm probably going to do is I'm just going to jump back to the Pokemon Center, and I'm going to cut that from the recording, because uh, I don't want to bore you guys too much. I, this time I actually do want to jump down. Uh, oh, can I just keep moving? Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, it looks like you don't actually lose your turn unless you enter enemy radius. And I'll probably cut from here, because this is going to be uh, boring. Alright, and we are back fully healed. So everyone is fighting fit. I think we can just take this uh, Pidgey out. Oh, guard is actually a ranged attack. It does, like, no damage. Okay. <laughs> How much does uh, Radita tackle do. We have Tail Whip and we have Tackle. Tackle does big deeps, but I don't think that it actually 
uh, does enough damage combined with Scratch. So I think what we're actually going to do is we're just going to try and get an advantageous position here in the grass. Because no matter what we do, we're not going to KO this Pidgey this turn. Yeah, we're just short. Uh, so I think we'll just wait. And then meanwhile, Pidgey over here, we're going to move him up. Now this enemy Pidgey should attack us, and then we'll take it out on our turn. Yeah. Okay. I think a Charmander Scratch should finish it off. Goodbye. Uh, scratch, yes. Uh, very good. Look at this. Tactical Master. And Rattata should take out this grass so it doesn't spawn enemies later. Nice. Excellent. All according to Keikaku. Oh, and Pidgey can fly right over the ledge because it's a flying Pokemon. I don't want to jump down. Okay, and we've got to move our other Pokemon uh, just around. Okay, so it, it looks like it is taking quite a while to get through Route 1. <laughs> it looks like, as I suspected, as long as we don't enter an enemy's attack radius, we don't actually consume our, like, turn. We can keep moving. Oh. Okay, well, as long as we don't move within a certain radius of the enemy, I think here I'll lose my turn. No, I didn't. Wait, what? Okay, I'm not quite clear on the rules there. I don't know what these, what this like skull means. Hmm. I think we're just gonna go ahead and move Pidgey into the area, and we're gonna equip Sand Attack so that we can um, retaliate from two range if they attack us from a, a distance. They attack us up close. Oh, oh my goodness, the damage! Oh, we took huge damage. Ah, uh, Pidgey, hello! All right, we lost our Pidgey. But I think it comes back, because we're not playing on Nuzlocke. Okay, well... Uh-oh. <laughs> this is kind of bad. Uh, I guess we'll go with... Okay. I don't think Tail Whip... Tail Whip and Ember I don't think is enough. Or Tail Whip and Scratch I don't think is enough. Because Scratch does... Oh, it is enough. So let's do that. If we're going to Tail Whip the enemy... So if you see, like, these dashes... Uh, instead of, like, actual values, it just means the enemy is not hitting you back. So we know here that he's not going to hit us back. And we know that a Scratch will take it out from that level of HP. I should maybe be leveling up my other party members, but I also don't think I'm going to be using them long term. Rattata, okay. Rattata dodged, very good. And I think we'll just do the... Oh no. So that grass is going to spawn a Pokemon if we don't kill it this turn. So I think we want to kill it this turn. And we'll just take this turn to soften up this Pidgey with a Tail Whip. Yeah. 73% chance to hit, so decent chance of missing. I don't know if this game has uh, what they call... It's a bit complicated, but... Um, Fire Emblem lies to you with their uh, accuracy. Basically, if your chance to hit is above 50, you actually have a better chance to hit than what you see. So if it says 90%, it's actually like almost 100. And if your chance to hit is below 50, it's actually lower than the displayed hit. And they do that just so that it feels better for the player. Because normally enemies have bad hit chances. So if the enemy has a 30% chance to hit, they're probably going to miss you. And then you feel smart because you're like, oh yeah, it was, a, it was a risk. But it really wasn't. Alright, we, we got a two-man team here. Is there anything to the left? No, okay. Movement is a bit slow. Uh, hopefully, I'm able to fill this with, with some commentary, <laughs> so that this isn't dreadfully boring to watch. Jump down. No, I don't want to jump down. Oh, there's a Mankey. Oh, I want that Mankey. I want that Mankey for sure. Okay, okay, okay. Give me the Mankey. What moves does he have? Does he have, like, low kick? Can I, can I check? At all? Any of these buttons? Ooh, there's the map. No, okay. None of my buttons tell me what move he, moves he has. Uh, okay, well, we're gonna, I think, lure him in with Charizard equipping guard. And then hopefully we'll be able to capture him next turn. Alright, come on, Mankey. Hit me! Or miss me, that's even better. Excellent. Yes. Yes. Alright, so let's try and capture this dude optimally. So if we just try and capture him now, I'm assuming we can't do that. No, we cannot. So we have to deal at least four damage to him. Can we deal four damage with uh, Tail Whip? We can. We just have to not miss. And we didn't. 
So this Mankey is ours. This is strategy. All according to Keikaku if I actually select capture. Yeah, only, uh, so 98% hit, almost guaranteed. Nice. Alright, we got the Mankey. So now, oh wow, look at this move range. Uh, so how, do I have a fighting move? I do. Yo! And we don't actually one-shot him, <laughs> but, but really good. Uh, so Mankey is in danger currently. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to trade with uh, this Radita, who I, ha I know has super potions. I'm just going to use a super potion here uh, to restore me to full health. Beautiful. I messed up. I should have equipped low kick. <laughs> so um, whenever you get attacked in Fire Emblem, you counterattack with whatever weapon you have equipped. And I didn't have low kick equipped. Looks like it doesn't matter because uh, instead we just had <laughs> Radita get absolutely rocked. Uh, but let's see if uh, one of these is weak enough to kill with... Okay, we miss out by one. What about this one? Hey, We take him out in exactly one hit. Uh, so, it looks like you just deal double damage in this game. Um, if you do a super effective hit. At least with this type of effectiveness. Nice. Monkey. Uh, I don't think Charmander can one-shot this. Close. Uh, so what do we do here? Do we even... Oh yeah, guard his range. Let's do that. Nice. Level up. Please give me a good level. Okay, good. Oh, that was beautiful. That was really good. Really good. So it looks like double attacks aren't in this game. Which is good. I think that would be kind of overpowered. So I'm wondering what our speed does. It probably just affects our evasion. Because that's what it does in the normal game. So we can definitely low kick this dude out of this game. Yeah, goodbye. And I'm hoping that Mankey doesn't die. Oh, he's only level 1. Oh my, these stats are horrible. What? Okay, well. Come on. Guard. Okay, now. Scratch? So close. Well, since we can't kill him in one hit, uh, can we defend Mankey at all? No, no matter what we do, Mankey's gonna get hit. Hopefully Mankey survives. Uh, let's get him with the... Uh, I guess we'll get him with a guard that he can't counterattack with. And hopefully Mankey survives. I think he might be done for, though. Come on, Mankey. Hey, Well done, Mankey. Uh oh Okay. We're, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Okay. So, Mankey, I think, needs to heal. And we're just gonna go ahead and take out one of these Pidgey with our Charmander. Yes! Beautiful! Get wrecked! Okay, nice, nice. Oh, that did so much damage. Oh, and we missed. That's terrible. That's terrible. And there's a Rattata. Okay, well, we know I we know that Mankey can basically one-shot Rattata. So I want to give the XP to Mankey. Ooh, okay, not very effective. How about Scratch? Okay, Scratch is nine. So I have to lower this to at least nine health. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Easy. And uh, let's just see accuracy. So I can actually low kick, and that's... Oh, 50 hit. That's terrible. We're scratching for sure. Out of here. Mankey. Beautiful. Oh, perfect. And he's putting himself in kicking range. He, he walked right into us. Get kicked. Yes. Easy. Give me that level. This is strategy, guys. Oh, strength and speed, the best stats. Oh, it's so good. Let's get this item. A potion? Got a gust. Oh, okay, okay. So in Fire Emblem, obviously, you don't use Pokemon moves. Um, you have to use weapons, because with the exception of two games in this series, you're always, you know, pretty much a human. Uh, so you have to use weapons, and it looks like um, the moves in this game are actually items, like, in your inventory. So I could give this gust to a Pidgey, and then it would be able to use gust. Uh, I think... I don't think we get XP for destroying the grass, but we're gonna, we're gonna kick this grass. Oh, okay, it doesn't work. We're gonna scratch this... Uh, we're gonna scratch this grass with Charmander, which will hopefully destroy it. Yes. Charmander carry. I think we've cleared everything on this route. Yeah, so we just can just walk on up to Viridian. Beautiful. I don't think we need to get everybody there. I think just Charmander getting there will complete the level. Continue north. Yes. Hey, Viridian City. Is there just an anime still in the background? <laughs> 
great. Oh, there's a Caterpie. Can we talk to him? Caterpie, hello? Talk? Question. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I'll head to the Pokemon Center. And we will attempt to save. Okay, it looks like save doesn't work. So I'm just going to have to uh, save state in order to be able to continue. Um, but I think... Uh, that's a decent place to stop for uh, episode one. Um, so yeah, that's just the uh, the start of the Poke Emblem hack. Uh, I think this looks very promising. I may have said that before. Hopefully I don't have to put in the highlight reel that I said the game was good when it turned out to be horrible. But my hopes are high. I think uh, for Fire Emblem and Pokemon fans alike... Uh, this could be a fun experience. So please let me know if you'd like to see this series continue. If not, I'll just stop. But uh, I think this looks pretty interesting. Uh, hopefully you share the same sentiments. I don't want these episodes to be too long. I'm thinking I'm probably going to cap them out at about one route each. Um, yeah! So hopefully I will see you in the next episode with a better overlay that better fits uh, what the game is actually about. All right. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Charizard. <laughs> and I hope to see you in the next video, which may or may not be another installment of Poke Emblem. Alright, take care.